Validation rules play an important part in Salesforce. They ensure that the data that the users are entering follow business rules. We want to put validation rules so that if a user unintentionally enters some incorrect data, then we generate some error messages and prevent bad data getting into Salesforce. This is extremely important because data drives all the decisions that you will make uh, based upon your Salesforce data. So if users start entering wrong data by mistake for any of the objects, any of the fields, then uh, your Salesforce instance uh, is not, uh, you are not getting the best, the maximum out of your Salesforce instance. So a Salesforce administrator works closely with the business users to understand what are the valid values for a field and then uh, for various fields for various objects and then he, he can he or she can set up those as validation rules <clears throat> validation rules may be active or inactive inactive means that uh, the system will ignore them so for example uh, let's say you have some test data uh, or, or for a short time you want the validation rules to be disabled uh, then you can set them as inactive some examples of validation rules let's say we'd want to make sure that the donation amount cannot be negative or we can set up a rule like uh, an opportunity cannot have account as n as null account must be specified before an opportunity can be saved or we could have a validation rule which says that if record type of opportunity is donation then donation t type field cannot be null or you could say that if opportunity stage is closed lost then the field reason for lost must be specified so uh, we can like this we can make fairly complicated donation uh, validation rules in the system <clears throat> if the rule is met then salesforce will not allow the user to save the record and it will generate an appropriate error message. For creating a validation rule, we have to specify the name of the rule. We have to have set up a checkbox called active to true or false. We have to provide an optional description. This is for our reference so that we can remember what is the purpose of the validation rule. The formula is, is the most important field of the validation rule setup. Uh, and this can be a little bit complicated for new users, but with a little bit of practice, you can easily learn how to set this up. So this is an expression. Uh, if the expression evaluates to true, then the user will uh, not be able to save the record and an error message will be generated. So you, uh, there are a lot of operations like you can compare two numbers you can check if a field is blank, you can uh, compare the dates, you can add two fields, things like that. So a so lot of uh, different operations are can be applied on the fields of an object. And if and then that expression is evaluated, if it is returns true, then the record will not be saved. The last field here is error message. So this is the error message we will specify and the user will see the message. So this must be easy to read and it must point to the user what is the problem, what is the mistake he is making while entering the data. Okay, let's as usual, let's go back and like take a quick uh, demo of how this works. So for our example, uh, let's look at opportunities so we are we went to the non-profit startup pack application we went to setup and then uh, we are in the opportunities area now validation rules are here so let's click on it i just created a couple of simple validation rules for this demo so let's uh, look at these let's click on this let's click on edit so just to see the fields a little bit more carefully uh, this is the name name cannot have spaces so when you're creating a name salesforce will replace any spaces by underscore 
what we are saying here is that uh, this is slightly complicated let's see how we can read this so the amount is a field of, of, of opportunity first thing we are checking is that if the amount is blank then this returns true and then we have the not operator on that so the effect of this is, is this is saying that amount is not blank that is the user has specified an amount this will evaluate to true if the user has entered some amount now let's look at the rest of the part so there are two parts this is first part and this is the second part and the between the two of them we have the and operator and on the on the right side there are two parts again so the, the amount is less than zero or if the amount is more than a million dollars then this evaluates to true so uh, we expect the amount should never be negative and we don't expect to get a donation of more than a million dollars so we have this this check that if the amount is specified then uh, if the amount is negative or if amount is greater than zero then both these conditions will be met and this expression will evaluate to true if this expression evaluates to true then this is the message that will get generated amount cannot be more than a million usd or negative okay so uh, we will see salesforce has a lot of help operations to 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 write these validation rules so for example there is let's just uh, there's this insert field button so we can choose any field here and click on insert button so it automatically shows up here then we can choose an operator so for example we can say multiply we can say it's something like that so just as an example we can make complex operations these are the functions that are available so we can check for absolute value we saw some functions in this method the, the and function not is blank or these are example of functions we can select any function and then we can read the description here and we can click on this to open help on this function once we are satisfied we want to use that then we can click on this and it gets inserted here so for example this function blank value what it does is that if the user uh, the user it can be used to replace this expression by a substitute expression if if the expression is blank then return substitute expression if the expression is not blank then return the expression that's what it will do they have uh, we can also click on this more examples which opens a help page which has a lot of other examples for us to learn about validation rules formula so this is the part which is which you need some to try out some things and and with time you can gain a lot of expertise once we have given some formula then we should click on check syntax and then it will tell us whether there are any errors in our formula or not okay let's look at another validation rule so let's go back to the validation rules for opportunity what this one says is that if the opportunity is a donation we, we know that opportunity in non-profit startup act there are five different record types for opportunity if it is a donation record type then we want to make sure that amount must be specified so the, to do this we, we check that the record type is donation name of the record type is donation and amount is blank if these two conditions both the conditions are true then the record cannot be saved and this is the error message that gets generated okay so uh, 
like this we can create uh, more complex validation rules let's go ahead and try to create uh, a new one so let's go back to the validation rules list So let's pick up a date field and check that the date field must be greater than today's date if when we are inserting a date field <coughs> so let's click on insert field let's choose a close date here let's insert it and we want this to be greater than so uh, what what we are saying here is that when the user is specifying the close date he should not put the close date in the past it should be either today or after today so let's just check the syntax The syntax is fine. Let's give it a name. And then let's give an error message. And let's save it. Now let's go ahead and try to create an opportunity record and see how this whole thing works. So we'll try to create an opportunity, let's say, of donation type. Let's uh, use it for, let's assume that Apple is making this donation. Now uh, let's leave the amount field blank. So we see that it, it puts a, a couple of messages that the donation must have an amount and the close date must be in future. So let's put a date in the future for close date and let's give a negative amount this time. So now we get the message that amount cannot be more than a million USD or negative. So that's this is the way we can put some rules here and then uh, Salesforce will evaluate those rules. If they return true, then an error message is generated.